All right, we're on hole number 13 of the Festive Cup Tournament. We're in the weekend round in the rookie division. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and check out hole number 13. All right, par 3. Going straight at it. Sniper, one power low wind ball. So we're using a uh, eyeball. And we're going to do a 2.5 ring adjustment. So let's make sure we got our bag set up. We got our Saturn. We're going to take an eyeball. That's all we need. We're going to leave our putter at home. We're on a streak. We got back to our score with the eagle on hole number three. So now we're going to start off the second set of holes with uh, a hole in one. Hole in one, eagle, eagle. That's what we're looking for in this three set. I'm trying to break it down into three set groups here. We got six holes left. We're running out of holes. So we need to get a hole in one, an eagle, an eagle, an eagle, a hole in one, and an albie. Then we'll be fine. <laughs> We have a Patriots fan. Yes, I am a Patriots fan. Get that set up there. We're right at Max Club. For a ring adjustment, this is one nine, so that's about two thirds of a ring. Oh, we're hitting great. We're hitting on that third time by, and we're hitting great every time. And we got stuck at the top. And that's a product of hitting that great. I hit great, and it got me in a the wrong landing spot, so that's why it did. It didn't come into that uh, second bounce with any backspin. It lost all of its backspin on the first shot because it landed on the fringe instead of on the putting surface. When you set these balls up, if, you're, if your first bounce is designed to go on the fringe, you have to hit on the fringe. If it's set up to hit on the rough, you got to hit on the rough. When you're on these greens, that small cut that goes around it it's really easy to go from one surface to the next and it'll change everything and that's a hole that needs to be dunked but it's kind of going downhill and I don't like really doing dunks on the downhill so we will just chip it in birdie that was not the hole in one we were looking for we used to have to contend with people who were cheating and there was a way for them to on the, especially on the back nine <clears throat> for them to play these holes over and over and over again until they got the hole in one. So you'd be playing against guys and they'd shoot like minus 17 on the back nine. But they got rid of that, so you can't do that anymore. Which is good because it sucked. <clears throat> you always knew when you were playing against one of those guys. I'll let my opponent go. So if you have a Goliath, or if you've got a club um, that doesn't have lots of backspin, there are you know ways down here the thing I don't like about that is, is look at how close they are there's a fringe cut a rough cut and the sand and they're on the side of a hill right there I'm not a fan of this landing spot because if you're off in your adjustment just a little teeny bit you can get caught up right there on that first bounce or you end up with that and they're lucky that this was a shootout and they're really lucky that I'm forfeiting. 
gave one to the uh, to the Patriots. All right, that was hole number 13 of the Festive Cup Tournament in the Rookie Weekend Round. Thanks for watching.